there are so many super cool stamps and stencils to buy, but nature also provides some absolutely amazing stamps and stencils. And we are gonna make three different kinds of prints really quickly and easily using things that I, I literally walked out and found in the parking lot today. So you can see I have a selection of things that I found in the parking lot that I thought would be interesting, leaves of all different kinds and little branches and stuff. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a gelatin printing plate and you always wanna store your gelatin printing plate in the clamshell packaging that it comes in to keep it nice and safe and secure, okay? So I'm just simply gonna place it down. And then I like to mix a couple different colors of acrylic paint when I print. So I don't put out too much paint of each color. I put out just a little smidgen of each color. And once I'm happy, and by the way, you'll notice that I'm mixing up a couple different greens with a teal, just something that really appeals to me. And you can create a mix that works for you. Now, because this is nature, that's part of the reason that I thought that would work. Now I'm using a brayer to go ahead and just brayer it out. And you'll notice that I'm moving in two different directions to really spread that paint out all across the plate. And I personally like it when there are some splotchy places like you can see here, because that really appeals to me. I don't like it when it's a single smooth color. If I wanted a single smooth color, I feel like I would just go ahead and use a single color. So I have a dirty brayer. And what I'm gonna do is simply onto a scrap piece of paper or just this piece of delicate paper, which is literally what they use to wrap sandwiches, I'm going to go ahead and clean my briar. Now, I'm going to take my various objects from nature, and one of the things you want to do is you want to make sure that you put the more interesting side or the veined side down against the plate, because we're basically going to be using those as stamps, and you want to kind of rest that there. And I'm going to go ahead, and you can put as many or as few down as you want. And you can use these multiple times, because I used some of these earlier today. And I'm going to go ahead and use them again. And you can put out a lot or a little. They can be big or small. I think some of these ones that have lots of different leaves are kind of cool. You got to manipulate them a little. These are a little sad, but there you go, going around. And maybe we'll put one more on there. And it's okay if things hang off the plate, whatever it is that you want. So the first pass, we're basically using these as stencils. So I'm gonna take that deli paper, even though it has this green strip on it, that's totally fine. And I'm gonna go ahead, and it's just a really thin paper, so I can see my print coming through it. And it just really allows me to get my fingers in there and make sure that I am around every single nook and cranny, so I'm getting every little tiny edge of every tiny leaf or branch and I'm really just pushing with my hand and I'm gonna go ahead now and have this really cool stenciled image. So when I pull this right off the plate, ooh, you can see I have a really cool naturey look. But I'm not done. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take a plain piece of paper and I'm gonna take each of my nature items and I'm just gonna go ahead and lay them down. So the, on the paint side, down against the paper. And you can lay them in any artistic arrangement that you'd like. You wanna move a little bit quickly because you wanna make sure that you're actually gonna get that paint while it's still wet. So don't think too much. Thinking is a little bit overrated. And then once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my brayer and I'm just gonna push over them like so really quickly. I'm also gonna be able to get a print right off the plate like so. So I'm about to reveal two prints to you at the same time. Here you go, boom, there's one. And now if I take these leaves off, you'll see there's two. It's just a really cool and easy way to bring nature in.